Hello YouTube, this is Dylan and I understand how frustrating it is to be facing a stripped screw head. Sometimes we can get away with the old rubber band trick, which works most of the time to be honest, and usually with lightly damaged screws. But sometimes it gets so bad and so damaged, like the one I discovered when I'm trying to replace the lock on my door. So I went on Amazon and got this damaged screw extractor from Tech Life, and today we are going to unbox this together. It cost me about 18 euros, which is about 22 US dollars, but I took a leap with this one because it comes in a bigger range of sizes and I just want to buy once. It comes in a pretty neat uh, hard sturdy box made of plastic, comes with also this clip at the back which you can clip onto your belt and opening the box you can see that there's a huge range of drill bits and two bit holders of different sizes which you will see in a short while how I fit the drill bits in. What I like about this set is that other than using it with your drill, you can also attach it to your usual mechanical screwdriver and it will work just as well. But of course, it is most efficient when using it with a drill or a rotary tool such as the Dremel. So let me set it up and show you how it works. And now we are ready to test our damaged screw extractors. We have prepared one damaged screw right here. For the extraction process, you will need an electric drill. It can be a wired one like this or a wireless one like my real B right here. And now let's get to it. It is indicated that you can extract but not limited to extracting your usual typical screws because the technique is basically you use the top row of drill bits first to make a small hole and then you extract with the extracting drill bits. From my experience, there's a bit of learning curve to this process and you have to match the drill bits to the central shaft and one easy way is to make sure that the drill bit can hit the bottom of the screw head. If all goes well, your drill bit will be stuck to the central shaft like this. First, you start by fixing the magnetic bit holder onto your drill. size drill bit, make sure you are on the drilling mode and then you start by drilling clockwise. It may take a few tries to get it right but if in doubt, you just use a smaller bit first. Don't worry if your screw looks worse than before after this first step because it is part of the extraction process. And now fix the same size extraction bit as your drill bit and remember to set your drill to the counterclockwise mode. The key to the extraction process is to apply a straight pressure into the screw head. Once the screw is loosened, you can either proceed to remove it delicately or jack it out with the crowbar if you would like to. Finally, this useful toolkit will have its place in my toolbox and I thank you for watching.